Hey guys, Casey Reese. I'm sorry about the last video, how it cut an end because my phone ran out of storage. So I deleted some things and we're going to restart. So day two after having is my radio oddity. I put some new colors in, or yeah, my, I put some new colors in there, color changed it, added channels, um, put my Nagoya on there, um, swapped out this little um, high gain antenna I put all my repeaters, took me a little bit, it was frustrating, but I got it in there. I've got some contacts in there, Parrot. Um, I have not made any contacts yet. Um, I am just listening to a DMR net. I've added some things, done um, APRS on it, and a little bit more. And then here, just like I showed you, this is the box again. Um, and let's see, I'm trying to find my... I put a microphone on it, just this little kid radio, it works fine, um, I definitely sound uh, really good, I'm trying, there kids, so this is the, um, antenna, or no, no, this is the programming cable, but I don't like that one because it does not work, so let me get the other one out. already um next coming wednesday i'll be making or trying to upload a video on my um i'm gonna be going camping so we're gonna be doing some tests and just some of that so um yeah maybe oh gosh sorry about that yeah doing something here's a program cable i don't know for sure how that's gonna if that's gonna fit it um go on to the computer so i have a windows well not it's like a old windows 10 that does not work so i put a um a type of usb in there <coughs> oh sorry about that okay so i go down then i get into chirp um, then we go into radio and then i go into i gotta put in i'm gonna try this first and see if this works because not everything not everything likes it and what i think about it is like a little chinese grandpa with the table they like wrap these little things around and so it's kind of nice i do trust radio oddity i do like their brand i have one of their radio oddities gs5bs it's it's pretty good i've used it for um, um i for snowboarding so i use that and then we're just going to let's see Okay, so I'm gonna take this, powered it off, then I'm gonna open up this little port right here, and I'm going to plug that in. This thing's a little warm. It took about a couple hours to charge from a from um, a dead battery, so um, I did not video that. So we're gonna go in here, and then I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, then we're gonna go into right there. Then I'm gonna go into any tone, and then we're gonna do 588 UV, and then try to download it, which doesn't look it's working. So we'll retry it here. Maybe it's that one. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Okay, um, which means I have to, I don't know for sure where one of the cables I have is, so it might take a little bit.
already, guys, so I cannot find it, which is all right. So I'm going to take this this one out and then use one that looks almost like it. So I'm going to power off and then plug it back in this other one and plug it in. Then we're going to cancel, then we're going to turn on radio, then we're going to download, then we're going to go to, it found it, so that's good, and then I'm going to wait for it to boot up. Okay, boot up, and then, okay, nothing in, uh, that's alright, what else we try? B O Huh, yeah, um nothing. Don't know exactly what it could be. Maybe I'll try so it's not an any tone, it's actually a radio oddity. But I just thought I might try with it. So let's go all down to Radio Oddity. And they don't. And they doesn't look like they have it here. But I'm going to try. Just. Okay, nothing. So as you can see. This is not going to work on here. So I guess I'll just try the any town again. Okay. Yeah, nothing. So I can't program it, which sucks, but that's all right. So yeah, here it is, big boy, it's thick, but that thick does um, give, yeah, it just does help um, a little bit. So yeah, um, and then I have a case for, um, yeah, have the case and everything for it. Alrighty, so yeah. Have the case, but I like it out of the case unless I'm going to carry it somewhere. Something like that. So yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, um, let's see cannot find it so it's bad um don't know where it would be oh yeah i do know where it, okay sorry uh yeah so i know where it is um it's in my mom's car so that's all right at least i know where it is um so yeah i'll put it in a case like when i'm walking around and it comes with this little um uh, what do you call it kind of like a purse thing and you just put it in and then you can put it around your neck and just kind of it walks around freely and you can probably you can attach your microphone and listen and you don't have to have it right here but me i like it right there it's just more um comfortable um and plus this whip antenna definitely gets really good range um i've been doing a lot of aprs on it and that and then that one thing i like about it is if you type in a any repeater or mostly a digital um, DMR it tells you if you're too far from it so it tells you out of um, range and so it'll tell you you can't access it when you're putting it in and so like um, this pass is UHF which is that's UHF on um, is located on elevation of 6060 feet um, in the pass and mountain ridge right over the um, Montana border just north of interstate 90 coverage is very good. It's almost 
all directions from Washington to Missoula. With mobile coverage in Spokane, Washington, the antennas are are Klee Wave PD-1151, station masters with a ADB gain. At the top of the 40-foot tower, the repeater is, is a Motorola SLR57-5700. Um, DMR, digital mobile radio. The repeater operates